Hey, it's Natasha from YML Homeschool, and I'm going to show you some resources for a space homeschool unit study. So we're about to finish up our weather unit. Now, this is all based upon my third grader's science curriculum. So she actually has an actual curriculum that she goes through online. It's part of my work, and I am able to access the curriculum for free and use it for free as an employee uh, benefit. So that is fabulous. And so she is doing the fourth grade science in third grade because she did the third grade science in second grade. And um, it goes by unit. So we had just, we're just finishing up her weather unit. Now she does this independently on the computer. I really have nothing to do with it. But what I like to do is pull in resources that I find at the thrift store to supplement that and that also means that I can use these resources with my seven-year-old and three-year-old and kind of get them a little science, extra science stuff too. So that's how we do this. But if you didn't have an actual curriculum and you just pull together resources that you find, you can totally make a unit. So I thought I would just show you this stuff to give you guys some ideas of things you might want to look for or purchase on Amazon or that sort of thing if you're doing a space study. So the first thing I picked up was these learning resources soft foam cross section earth these are super cool so let me show you so we got the earth here and then they open up and this one is broken a little bit but let me show you that and that shows the mantle and the outer core and you know all that so an inner core so that's really cool and then it comes with a little booklet and it has some facts and information in here and then i got the same thing but the sun so these, see that? And this one is not broken, so that's good. These are really cool and they are available on Amazon. I got both of these for $3.99 each. Then I got, uh, this was a non-thrift store find. This was a Marshall's clearance find, space exploration kit. Um, cast, paint, and display fantastic space vehicles while you read and learn. Okay, then I got this uh, Lakeshore Solar System Matchups. Uh, this was $2.99 at Goodwill. Love Lakeshore, was excited to find that. I got these at Dollar Tree, Solar System Mobile. And I don't know why I didn't get three because my three-year-old really believes she is included in everything we do in our homeschool. So if the other two littles are doing something, she needs to too. So I need to find another one of these at Goodwill because She'll want one. Then I got this Earth and Moon. It's glow in the dark model kit. This was only 99 cents at Goodwill. And then I got this game, Learning Resources Game, Planet Quest. This was $2.99. And it comes with all this, game cards, planet facts, spinner, four astronaut game pieces. So this is actual factual science stuff. And then I have the other, these other two Lakeshore games that are space themed, but aren't necessarily teaching about space, but I thought I would throw them into the unit anyway. So we have this sound switching Lakeshore game, a phonemic awareness game. This was $1.99. Now we've played this one before and the girls really like it, but it is too easy for them. But that's okay, it's still a fun thing to throw into the unit. And then we have the Intergalactic Time Ball Game by Lakeshore. This is a telling time game, and this was $2.49. So again, even though these last two games aren't teaching about space, they're space-themed, so it's fun to throw them in. Now, uh, well, I'll show you the books in a minute, but, and then my daughter, my three-year-old, got this for Christmas. It's from Lakeshore, this little astronaut thing. Um, little astronaut guys, so of course, I'm sure this will be used a lot during the unit just because that is fun. Go in there, guy. Anyways, these open up. And so that's pretty cute. And this opens up. She just loves this thing. Okay, then I got some books. Now, the first book I have is Moonfinder. I actually won this a couple years ago in a giveaway. And it is a really good book. This is by Fourth Day Press. And uh, you can go to the website classicalastronomy.com. But this is a beautiful book. Uh, I really enjoyed reading it before. Just 
show you the inside a little bit. So, anyway, definitely recommend this book. And then I got this uh, Let's Read and Find Out Science, The Moon Seems to Change. That was a Goodwill find. And then I have these two Usborne books that I got in my Usborne haul. We have the Fold Out Solar System. So that's really cool. My daughter's over there smiling. <laughs> She's probably looking forward to this. So that is super cool. And then we have the Look Inside Space book. And this is a Lift the Flap book. And so I'll be excited to go through this with them. And I think that is actually it. So I hope that gives you some ideas of some fun things that you can use during a space unit. And happy homeschooling!